Hey everybody, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be painting the front calipers of the IS-300. I'm going to go to O'Reilly's and I'm going to look for the, uh, the caliper paint which is different than regular paint. It's high temperature paint which is not going to allow it to uh, fade away that easy, make it last longer. And so I'm going to go with the blue. That's how the original calipers are painted. And so I'm going to go with the blue. If they have a darker midnight blue, even better. And hopefully they do have a can of that. If they don't, then I'm just going to head over to AutoZone and get it there. But it should be around the same price, price range. So find out. So I'm gonna have to go to AutoZone and then hopefully we have some better luck there. Took off the wheels already, and here is the caliper. They look really ugly, faded, and so what I'm gonna have to do the first step before I take the brake pad, the brake pads off. I'm gonna go and have to sand all of this paint off and get to the bare metal. So some people they want to go ahead and take off the whole caliper, but I'm not. I'm gonna leave it on here. And then all I'm gonna do is just, once I'm done sanding this part, I'm gonna just flip it to the side and get in the side of it and then get the rest sanded. It's a long process. You wanna take your time when doing this because it's all about prepping. If you have a little bit of paint, a little bit of grease, dust on there, the paint's not gonna stick and it's not gonna last as long. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Before I forget, make sure before you get started sanding, you wear your safety glasses because you don't want that in your eyes. Really, really, nasty stuff gets all over the place so just make sure you guys don't forget that so far this jupit wheel is working pretty good now after i start getting all this sanded i'm gonna have to clean out the rotors because you don't want that stuff in between this and your brakes no good and you want to also dust out your brakes so the paint doesn't actually get inside of it. All right guys, so it's looking pretty good already. I got most of it already sanded over here on this side. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a 14 millimeter, which is this over here, and then bring it this way. And then this should just snap right off. Okay, got those taken care of. Then we're gonna have to clean them before we put these back on here. So I get this sanded off, I'm gonna put a bag all over this so I could paint it. Another thing to remember, don't forget to take these clips off. They come off really easy with the flat screwdriver. Just come over here and you just pop these right out. So just, and then you're gonna have to sand it a little bit here. All right guys, I'm just about done here getting the sanded and what I'm gonna do with the very light sandpaper, I'm just gonna come and sand it one last time. All right guys, this is it. I got it already sanded. I got it prepped here all over the rotor. I'm, I'm covering also the strut, the coil over. So none of the stuff gets overspray gets all over here. I'm not worried too much about over here. I'm gonna be very careful on that. But I took off the both bolts. By the way, guys, I'm using VHT caliper paint. Um, it's for high temperature, and it's this midnight dark blue color. It cost me about nine bucks here at AutoZone. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go one light coat, 
and then wait about maybe 15, 20 minutes and then go with my next coat. I'm only gonna go two coats because I need I need some rest for the for the other caliper on the other side. And so it should be enough to get two calipers done. Make sure you shake this very, very, very well. Alright guys, I'm almost finished up here. I let it dry for about half an hour or so. So all I gotta do is just put this wheel back on here and you're ready to go, all set. Really happy with it, it looks really, really nice. Matches with the color of the car, so that's a good thing. And I'm still not finished with the other side here. I'm still grinding or sanding all this paint off and then I'm gonna take the pads off and then get that cleaned up and then do the same thing cover the rotors in the same process so I'm not gonna show you guys that if I can't get it done tonight I'll just go ahead and get it done tomorrow but that's pretty much it for painting the calipers it's pretty easy it's just time consuming and you don't have to worry about that rust coming in it should last you a few years guys so that's about it for this video guys we'll catch you guys next week and thank you to all my subscribers and if you have any questions, leave a question down below. Also add the link for the caliper paint that I'm using in the description. So if you guys want to use that, you guys can go ahead and do that, okay? All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hey, Samson, you want to say anything? Huh? Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, he's like, leave me alone. You better go.